Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa. And today I'm very excited, right? As you guys can see, we were baling our hay. It's, it's a dry season, but we're able to harvest and baling. Um, but today I had a discussion with Godfrey. If you don't know Godfrey, Godfrey is my son. He's been working here at the farm since he was a kid, right? The moment I started this journey, I brought him in. And when I travel, he's the one who is basically taking care of things. Yesterday, he was here with me, you know, bailing this um, and so on and so forth. Um, and I had a discussion with him. He just finished high school. And I think this is going to lead to a question that I want to ask you about generational farming. I believe that African farming our agriculture in general is not growing because we don't do generational farming. The good news is that I had a discussion with Godfrey about what he wants to do, which university he wants to do, what course he wants to do, and he told me point blank that he wants to go into agriculture to support what I'm doing here. And therefore, I got very excited and started looking for school for him, but I wanted him to go to South Africa because as you guys know, we have started importing a lot of breeds of livestock from South Africa, goats, cows, um, pigs, whatever breed from South Africa. So I think it is good that he goes there and study more about it, the health, production, everything, and bring it back to us. The issue is that it is very expensive. And therefore I'm coming to you guys to seek for support. If you guys can help us send Godfrey to South Africa, it will be, an honor for us because as you know all the information all the knowledge and experience he's going to have he's going to bring it back home and share it through this channel to all of us so if you can support any amount that you can please go to www.farminginafrica.com godfred and you can put any amount that you can to support the school is actually costing me about $8,000. I'm trying to put the money together, but I know you guys, most of you reach out to me, how can you help? And I've not really taken anything from you guys without offering you something. I don't do that. I don't like taking things for free, but I think this is a way for us to support this young guy who has dedicated his life to go and learn and bring it back here to help all of us. You never know when you're gonna need his help. And I think when he comes back, he's gonna be on this channel and educate us on how to take care of our livestock, how to solve issues and so on and so forth. So if you guys can help, please do. I do believe in this because it is something that I've been talking a lot about. And I'm actually gonna release a video about generational farming because I truly believe that if we don't pass our knowledge and experience to the next generation, which is mostly our children who are coming up, then when we die, most businesses collapse when the owner of the business is gone. Africa is not like the West where you can hire CEOs, you can hire board of directors and they'll be able to help still run the business. Most of us, our children are studying somewhere, doing different jobs whilst we are going into farming. If that happens, then you know, once you're not there, who is gonna take care of it? We don't want that to happen here at Samenshia Farm. And what you started, I think is impacting a lot of lives. And therefore, I wanna create this next generation so that tomorrow, if I'm not there, somebody can take care of it and still be able to grow it and feed and educate most people like yourself. So thank you so much. And I hope you can go and donate something into supporting Godfrey, go to school in South Africa. I'm counting on you guys for your support. And thank you so much for doing that for us already. I'll see you in the next video.